My name is uh, Miss Alice Minsa. I come from Harvard City. Formerly, I was a teacher, and uh, later I was transferred to the district office as an assistant director, human resources. And I retired in 2006. So I'm at home. Now I will go tomorrow, and it's uh, an opportunity for me to go and ask our uh, MP to account for what since he took over, what he has done for the the circuits or the constituency. It's because we don't, you see, we don't know anything. You haven't heard of anything, what he has done so far since he took over. And it's very important because, you see, if we know, then we know how helpful it has been to the districts. But if you don't hear anything, because you don't normally see him. Yes. So if we meet him and then put in our questions across and then he's able to give us satisfactory answers, I think we, we shall be happy. It's a good opportunity for me to be present at the meeting. My name is Kwesi Owusu Insia, the Vice President of the Ghana Federation of the Disabled Jomoro District, the Hafasini, Ghana. I've been working freely in the position, you know, the environment, you know, it's not all that friendly, disability friendly, but with the literary training that I had with the School for the Blind, I'm able to contain it. We'll be going around distributing letters here and there. Um, with the white cane, I'm able to go along with it safely. It is important for me. It is important for all of us. I mean, let's put it this way, uh, stakeholders. It is important for all of them to be at the assembly, the, the meeting so that uh, we can get the MP one in one and question him on what he has done since he went there and if he, he has not done anything, what he tends to do. So we know then we also ask him what has transpired over there since he went over the parliament. Because we've not had the chance to meet him. Because in uh, this scenario, he's supposed to be here after the when they go on recess, he's supposed to meet the constituents. And what? Brief as what has transpired over there, the laws that they've made, the, the one that is in the pipeline. You see? And so I will employ everybody to go there and have a, a say and also question the, this, the MP on his uh, activities or his business that he's doing. <laughs> I'll take you to a place to apply to go and bring you food. You get to apply and realize that there's no food at all. So what do you do with the place? Are you coming back with the place to come and tell you that I didn't get the food? Or that uh, uh, the food is not ready? This is the paradox of what we are facing now. We got there and uh, to be honest with you, these two years have been very difficult and very challenging. They brought the money to our school and then they came and took the money back. So because of that, the project that we were to do, we were to do at Azutian and Sami, to date we have not been able to do it. So these are some of the challenges we are having. But all I want to assure the people of your mind that we have not failed you. We have delayed in providing what we are supposed to provide. But it's better late than never. Right now, I will ask him what he has done for our education in the districts. Yes. Because there are some schools who don't have uh, furniture. And at least we could have helped them. Well, if I had the chance of meeting the MP, I would tell him what, uh, to the best of my mind, what we need most is a rehabilitation center. If he can get a rehabilitation center for us, where 
most of us will be trained and be well resourced rehabilitation center. At the end of the training, people will get the equipment to go and work with so that uh, we will not see us standing by the roadside begging for arms. Yeah. For me, this was a great opportunity. At least we have been able to communicate to them. I'll be able to hear about uh, what their problems are. And then I've also realized what the future lies for us as a people. It has also become a, a platform for, to remind me that, yes, I have people I'm representing, and I need to come back to them to let them know in two ways. When it is going well, I should let them know. If it is not going well, I should let them know. So that in either way, where they need to give me encouragement, they will give. Where they need to sympathize, they would. So I think it's a very good platform. And I encourage that other MPs who have the opportunity take advantage of that. I will want to first of all thank CDD for the opportunity and also thank my people. The whole program was very successful. It was very nice. We had a fruitful discussion with the MP. Now communication channel has opened for us where we can communicate with the MP on our issues here and there so that uh, we come to know what to do. Especially I'll start from my compound. I'll tell them what transpired here. That he had he made promises. And he had wanted to fulfill them. But because of financial constraint, he wasn't able to do all. But still he has still promised that even with the uh, the mosquito spraying, by all means if he couldn't do it in December, early January he will do that. So we should side with him and then pray for him so that he will get all these things and then fulfill all his promises.